Let's take a look at what World English is. is. Although people have been using different varieties of English for centuries, it was only recently that World English was recognized as a distinct field of study. In this regard, we have two distinct positions. One is that of Randolph Quirk, which he presented in 1985. According to Quirk, there is a single standard form of English based on British English, which should be used as a model for all foreign English language learners, that is non-native English language learners. On the other hand, we have Baraj Kachru, who believes that there are many linguistically equivalent varieties of English. Kachru classifies English into his three now famous concentric circles. Concentric circle means all these circles have the same center. He classifies English into inner circle, outer circle and expanding circle. Inner circle comprises countries where English is traditionally used as the first language or in other words, they are countries where English is used as a native language. Outer circle includes countries where English has an official or institutional purpose. For example, countries like Singapore, Philippines, Nigeria, Kenya, India and Pakistan. Mostly these are post-colonial nations. Then, Kastru divides English into an expanding circle as well. Expanding circle includes countries where English has no official or institutional use and is only learned as a foreign language in classrooms. These countries include countries like Japan and China. Traditionally, English is classified into these three categories. English as a native language ENL, English as a second language ESL, and English as a foreign language EFL. Again, ENL countries are the countries which use English as a native language like USA, UK, Australia. English as a second language countries are countries where English has an official or institutional role again like Pakistan, India, Nigeria, Kenya, Singapore all these colonial nations and then English as a foreign language is used for countries where English is taught only as a foreign language in classrooms and has no functional role outside the classrooms. Apparently these two classifications look very similar but there are two distinct differences. One is that Kachru allows for different varieties of English all of which are equally valid in their own uh, contexts. Whereas the other model uh, where we classify English as ENL, ESL and EFL, it only believes in the na native varieties of English and also um, suggests that the native varieties are superior to all the other varieties. English language varieties go through different phases of development. The first phase is when the local variety remains unrecognized in the community where it is used. Because the local community, although they are themselves non-native English language speakers, but they prefer the native language as the norm. Therefore, the local variety remains unrecognized. The second phase is that when the local variety and the inner circle variety exists side by side. So the local variety, which is the variety of the outer circle um, country, exists side by side with the inner circle variety, although people still prefer the inner circle variety, that is, the native English. The third phase is the phase when the local variety becomes recognized as the standard and the local community starts accepting it starts accepting it and it um, starts um, uh, being accepted as a standard and the language starts being codified etc. An important point to note here is that it's not only the outer circle varieties which go through these phases of development but even inner circle varieties also go through these phases of development. For example, Australian English was recognized only in 1950s 
by the Australian Broadcasting Company. Similarly, Maguire Univers Dictionary, which is the Dictionary of Australian English, was published only in 1980s.